one. Today we're going to be testing these dirt cheap Santan solar panels for $39, 240 watts. So let's test them real quick. It's Utah. Pretty clear day for Utah. A good way to test these to see if you have any bad solar panels is to test the open circuit voltage and then we're going to test the current. So the reason these are so cheap is because these ones have little cracks on the back. So usually they're like $59, these are $39. But I'm just gonna uh, like paint these with some outdoor paint. Really you don't need to do anything if you don't want because they're $39, it's pretty cheap. Here's the frame. Inch Santan Solar also tests these and let, they'll let you know if they're faded or underperforming at all. I always retest them just for peace of mind though. Okay, so we're gonna test the open circuit current and then we're gonna test the short circuit current but then we're after we're going to wire all these together and uh, test the actual output wattage it's good to test each panel as one bad panel could really reduce the output of the entire array okay 35 35.8 34.12 34.14 34.45 34.47 34.26 34.13 Okay, so now I'm going to test the short circuit current. So basically what you do is just plug them together like that. And then you measure the amps. 10.33 amps. So it's actually performing above the current amps on the back of the panel. It might be because there's some sun reflecting, some snow reflecting onto it maybe. But that's pretty good. Better than stated. This is right at 10 amps coming out of this one. 9.75, or that's going down. Seven. Oh, there's some clouds coming, darn it. Four clouds passing by right now. It's interesting how much clouds or smog will affect the output of your solar panels. It'll affect the amps, but it won't really affect the voltage. I plan on getting a whole bunch of these cheap solar panels so I can have power even during cloudy days in the winter. 9.4, 9.47, The clouds, it's hard to get a really good consistent reading with the closed circuit current, but let's just hook all of these together and then we we'll really want to know how much power is coming out. I'm just going to test the open circuit of all the panels hooked together. I've got two strings of three panels wired in series and both of those strings are wired in parallel. 102 volts open circuit. Okay, let's plug it in. So this is my Growa all-in-one inverter charge controller. It'll be charging my 48 volt server rack battery. I also did a video review of these two products. So if you wanna watch that, I'll leave a video link in the description. Should start charging the battery in just a second. Taking in 536 volts per watts. So it's 1.44 kilowatt away array. Wow. So that's taking in uh, uh, 1.31 kilowatts. It's like 90% uh, efficiency. So that's, and these are not ideal testing conditions. The sun's kind of far on the horizon right now. But that seems pretty good to me. So that's 1.31 kilowatts for $156. That's like, that's really good, in my opinion. Actually, I'm just gonna put my meter on here to verify. 80 volts. So let's test the amps. 17.1 amps. So 80 times 17.1. So I got, I gotta be honest, I did not buy these solar panels for $39. I bought them for a hundred dollars a piece from a guy off uh, Facebook marketplace who bought them for $39 from Santan Solar. Um, I was happy to buy them for a hundred dollars and I even asked him if I can uh, get them for cheaper like maybe 90 and he said no I'm getting like a ton of calls to sell but I was really happy to buy them for a hundred dollars. The only bad thing about buying them from Santan Solar is uh, shipping is kind of expensive but you could also just sell them like that guy. So it makes sense to buy a, a whole pallet of them because they're just cheaper that way. 
So you can buy a pallet for $39 times 30 panels for a pallet. That's 17 uh, or 1170 plus shipping, throw in some tax. So it's 1620 that's what it'll cost you to get a pallet. And then say you sell them for $15, it's $15 a piece for 100 then uh, so you're getting back $1,500. So really you could buy, you could get 15 panels for the difference between this is to like $120. You could get 15 panels for 120 bucks. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy that vi this video. If you guys, uh, if you also watch their website, they have different panels that come through on stock, in stock. But they have a ton of them that are without the cracks in the back for like, I think they're like $59. But so guys, one more thing you might want to consider. So this is my RV. I'm gonna put six of those same size solar panels on my RV. But because I don't have a lot of space, I think it might be worth it for me to buy a, a newer solar panel that has more energy density output. But I'm, but I'm not quite sure what to do because Canadian Solar offers uh, like a 300 watt outputting panel. But I haven't tested that panel. And so there's a lot of panels online um, that state what their, state their efficiency in ideal testing conditions. But if I, if I were to buy that panel and put it right next to my uh, used solar panels out here, they might produce the same amount of watt, watts. So I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, yeah, I've seen some reviews on YouTube of the Canadian solar panels, but they don't actually put them in the sun and test them. So that's kind of pointless to me. So I don't know what to do with that. But if I do buy those Canadian solar panels, I'm definitely going to test them side by side with these used ones. Well, thanks a lot for watching. See ya.